Hi friends, so far in this course on IPM we studied meaning of IPM, various components from agro agronomic methods to biotechnological approach that is various components involved in IPM and lastly the agro ecosystem analysis that is ISA. Using all these things various state agricultural universities in the country, ICR institutes have developed IPM modules or packages for various crops across the country. Myself and my two colleagues will be covering a few successful examples of IPM strategy in agro ecosystem, in commercial crops as well as in horticultural crops. I will be covering on uh, agricultural crops firstly paddy. Now paddy is an important uh, crop cultivated almost from Kanyakumari to Kashmir in various uh, ecosystems and uh, this particular crop is attacked by many insect species considering the economic damage and also the loss about a dozen of insects are considered economically important. Among them stem borer to the tune of 29 percent loss it inflicts on paddy followed by brown plant hopper, gall midge, leaf folder, white backed plant hopper, green leaf hoppers and some of the other half a dozen insects contributing to 14 percent economic yield loss. The paddy is grown in two crops or in some situations three crops because of continuous monocropping of paddy the severity of some of the pests varies from low to medium to severe and the table clearly indicates the number one pest stem borer is very severe in October month particularly in Karif season and once again its severity is seen in rabi summer crop in January month and in summer crop once again the pest is very severe in March month. The next economically important pest is a gall midge which is a Karif season pest particularly in coastal belt it is very severe in September month. Then comes a important sucking pest you know there are two species brown plant hopper and white bagged plant hopper which is again a Karif season pest which is very severe in October and November months. Whereas the Gandhi bug which is another sucking pest is again a Karif season pest which is very severe in October month. Leaf folder which is another important pest in plain areas particularly in high yielding varieties. It is an early season pest causing much higher economic damage in August month. We will try to understand some of these economically important pests with reference to their nature of damage, stages that it attacks which is more important in managing or in the formation of IPM module. Coming to the number one pest yellow stem borer which is scientifically referred as Syrphophaga incertulas which is the most dominant and destructive species in the paddy ecosystem. The larvae is the damaging stage. Larvae very typically causes in the vegetative stage a symptom known as dead heart. In the reproductive stage also it causes a damage a symptom known as white ears. Both male and female can be differentiated very easily. Female having two black spots and female lays eggs in the leaf tip in groups covered with hairs which is an important behavioral character that can be used in the IPM strategy. In the early stage as I said it causes dead heart the larvae feeds on the green tissues for about 2 to 3 days and then bore into the stem causing the internal death of the tissue resulting in dead heart the whole plant is killed and then in the later stage the larvae bores into the peduncle and then feeds inside because of its damage into the peduncle 
the entire peduncle becomes chaffy which is known as a white ear head very typically you can uh, see in the paddy field even from a distance. And uh, the studies made on the loss estimation has clearly indicated that the pest if it attacks in the early stage uh, on an average it can cause up to 19 percent damage, but its damage its occurrence in the late planted crop is much severe damage as I has 38 to 80 percent is inflicted on paddy. Next important pest is galmich which is uh, scientifically referred as orsolia orise an important key pest particularly in the coastal region of the country. You know it has got uh, 6 biotypes uh, so far the study has indicated and then uh, the maggot is the damaging stage which causes uh, the elongation of gall. This is also called as a silver shoot or gall which resembles almost an onion leaf and such plant will not bear any panicle which can be seen much clearly in this particular slide. You can see the extended gall wherein the maggot will be feeding inside and the tillers that comes out also does not bear any panicle and then there is no question of any arid formation. The next group of insect is the plant hoppers. These are the sucking pests known as brown plant hopper which is very common both in rain fed paddy forming as well as in irrigated areas also. Originally these plant hoppers were very much restricted to southern India, but since one decade their appearance is also seen in eastern as well as northern states particularly in Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Bihar and Punjab also. And uh, with the growing of high yielding varieties particularly the white backed plant hopper another sister species of uh, brown plant hopper started occurring in a severe form. If you see the brown plant hopper scientifically referred as Nila Parvata lusens belonging to Delphacidae. The adults are typically brown in color and they are wedge shaped very clear cut and they lay in serially the translucent or transparent eggs in the leaf tissues which emerge in 3 to 4 days and these brachypterous form as well as adults both are the damaging stage. And similarly the white backed plant hopper also which can be differentiated under field situation with color. These are creamy white in color with a conspicuous black spot on both the wings in case of white backed plant hopper. Again their egg laying is also transparent again in leaf tissues and then brachypterous forms are seen both nymphs as well as adults they cause damage. Damaging symptoms are very typical in these sucking pests. You know in the early stage as well as in the post flowering stage they inflict damage. Both as I said adults as well as nymphs they cause damage. They congregate at the base of the plant in particular and then start sucking on the plant sap. Because of this the growth of the plant is affected a typical symptom known as hopper burn as if the entire particular patch of the field is put on fire. So that gives a burnt up appearance this is one of the typical damage and the insect is seen more active during November and December months that is the Kharif crop. The insect is not at all a problem in the summer crop that is during summer period. We need to understand why this particular pest became so severe because that helps in the development of IPM package. First and the foremost thing is because the farmers went on using higher dose of nitrogenous fertilizer which increased the seculency in plants resulting in more attraction of these hoppers for damage. Then because of continuous and heavy irrigation almost a standing water in the paddy field which creates the micro humidity high thereby the egg laying as well as hatching 
increases. So thereby there is an outbreak of the insect because of heavy pesticide application particularly the pyrethroids. Farmers start applying pyrethroids whenever they see any leaf damage by the cage worm or by the defoliator. But these pyrethroids give room for the population build up of sucking pests resulting in resurgence. Then because of the continuous cropping of paddy from Karif season, Rabi summer season again in some situations as I said three crops giving no scope for the break. So there is a continuous development of the pest. Then close planting again resulting in high microclimate humidity resulting in high population. Then of late some of the varieties which are high yielding but they are highly susceptible to brown plant hopper. And the incidence is very severe in low lying areas once again because of high standing water which results in high microclimate humidity. The next in the order is green leaf hoppers which is again a very general pest a very regular pest rather on paddy. There are three species identified more than one species also coexists. It is the nephrotic virusense is more dominating among the, the three species. These uh, green leaf hoppers in almost all the paddy growing areas across the globe that is it is a serious pest in Bangladesh, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Philippines that is the major paddy growing areas we see the severity and in India it is particularly serious in Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa whereas its uh, intensity is moderate in other paddy growing states. If you see the nature of damage as I said both nymphs and adults they cause direct damage by desapping thereby the growth is affected and uh, the plants turn to yellow in color and the spots where the hoppers have sucked is again uh, giving scope for the fungal and bacterial infection. This is another indirect damage that we see. In addition to direct damage these hoppers transmit two deadly virus diseases. One is known as uh, uh, Tungro disease, another is known as yellow dwarf. During the off season these hoppers mainly survive on some of the grasses that are uh, grown on the buns. The next important pest in the low lying areas particularly in irrigated situation is leaf folder Nephalocrosis medinalis and um, particularly as I said in the high yielding uh, varieties uh, and where there is high level of nitrogenous application this has become a problem. Larvae is the damaging stage they fold uh, the leaves longitudinally and then feed on the green matter. We see the whitish appearance on the field on these paddy plants. Another pest again a sporadic pest localized one rice hispa dicladispa armigera particularly in the hilly areas paddy Assam, Meghalaya this is a major pest. Here both adults as well as the grub mine into the leaf seed and they scrape again once again the chlorophyll content because of this uh, we see white blotches uh, all along uh, the leaves. Rice case worm this is again a sporadic uh, pest Nymphula defanctalis and uh, the incidence is severe wherever there is a water stagnation and particularly in the early stage of the crop because the larvae cuts the leaf blade into small tubular cases by remaining inside these tubular cases the larvae feeds on the leaf and resulting in defoliation and reduction in the growth of the plant. In some situations if you see in this light there will be a lot of gappy appearance because the whole plant is killed. Particularly if the pest occurs in the early stage of the crop growth almost it has to go for re-sowing or replanting. Next in the order is a cutworm which is again a sporadic pest these are nocturnal in habit caterpillar is the damaging stage and it is particularly serious in the coastal and northeastern states. The larvae feeds on the leaf 
as well as on the panicles at the time of maturity, grain maturity itself. It is damage in the grain maturity stage, it induces higher economic damage. Rice thrips, which is another important sucking pest, particularly in the early stage because of its sucking nature, we find the growth of the plant considerably reduced. Gandhi bug, which is another important sucking pest. There are many species, particularly the species Leptocorisa ortaurius is one of the important one and both adults as well as nymphs they suck the milky sap or the filling sap from the developing grain. Because of it is a sucking nature, we see discolored panicles with the chaffy grains. Rice blue beetle, which is again a sporadic pest and um, both the adults as well as uh, the young ones uh, or the grubs uh, they cause damage. They once again uh, start feeding from the tip of the paddy field thereby throughout the paddy field you can see whitish appearance uh, as if a bacterial uh, disease has occurred to the paddy uh, crop. So that appearance we get again the growth is affected considerably. Lastly the mites a non insect pest of late because of high nitrogenous application is becoming very serious. It is attack in the early stage as a leaf mite reduces the growth, there is no panicle formation, the whole plant looks like a grassy appearance even in the late stage also in the panicle formation stage also it attacks the resulting year head is very poor and it results in chaffiness. These are the economically important insect pests across the country. The next class we will try to understand the IPM package recommended. Thank you.